uh, welcome to my channel. Welcome back. Here are the results of my Dollar Tree uh, grow kits. What are they called? I don't remember. Um, but they were like kits that came with the cup. Oops, not that cup. That came in their own planting pot with the seeds and the fertilizer. Buzzy, Buzzy Grow Kit. So this is the result of my strawberry fuzzy grow kits that I got from the Dollar Tree. As you can see, the seeds did grow, but then they developed some type of fungus or something. So I'm cutting off um, the really bad leaves. That are, oh, there's Kitty. <laughs> Hi, Kitty. <laughs> so, just to make them look a little better, but it's the first time they actually grew. So I kind of just set them aside and didn't really pay much attention to them. They, oh, uh, let's check it out. There's actually a strawberry. It's a little, little tiny, little tiny strawberry. Probably not worth eating, but it did produce. Strawberry. So, it's a little tiny thing. I'm gonna cut off all the red leaves. Uh, and I'm going to repot. I should have already had these repotted, but like I said, I kind of planted them up and just set them aside and didn't really take care of them as well as I should have. And as you can see, planted these on April the 7th of this year. Five of the pots produced strawberry plants. Only one did not. Well, actually, there's a tiny leaf there. There may actually be a plant coming up. All right, so I'm going to plant all of these into one pot. I used to have a bunch of succulents in it, but I transplanted those elsewhere. So I'm going to start the strawberries off in this round clay pot, see how they do before I put them in with my other strawberry plants that produce lots of strawberries. I'm going to keep them separated, especially because they have this red fungus thing or bacteria. Something's growing on the leaves. And I only added fertilizer once when the leaves started to come up. I did fertilize with some liquid fertilizer and that did seem to help. So when I put them into this pot, I will fertilize again. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and get these potted into their new home. I just wanted to show you that the roots do look pretty healthy. Pretty good. All right, so as you can see, I got all my strawberry plants planted in, in my pot here. And I have my watering can. I already sprayed it once with just water. Now I'm going to add some liquid fertilizer. So what I have on hand is just some Espoma organic tomato and vegetable feed, um, which is okay to use on strawberries, I believe. And then I also have some of the Super Thrive um, original vitamin solution that includes kelp. I put just a dab of that and then just, you know, water. So I'm gonna go ahead and do a liquid feed fertilizer on the strawberries. And also I have on hand some neem oil. I'm going to mix this just in a cup with a little water and treat the leaves to get rid of whatever fungal disease that is turning the leaves red. So I'm going to try that and see if that helps. Alright, so I hope you have enjoyed this update on my fuzzy grow kit from the Dollar Tree. So it's six strawberry grow kits. First time they actually came up. <laughs> so I purchased those kits for strawberries several times and the strawberries never came up. So they came up and I'm excited. <laughs> had one tiny strawberry but hopefully since I repotted 
the plants into this bigger container, they will do even better. And I've given them another dose of fertilizer. I'm very hopeful they will continue to grow and I will keep you updated.